We are in Moleti today in Ombolusala, Apple Island. And it's basically an island full of apple trees. Um, so you can come camping here. We've got the showers here. It's raining today, it's pouring rain. But look how beautiful it is here. And here's me in the rain. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to come here in the summer and um, go camping. <laughs> House of Beauty salon to try my wedding hair so I'm here today to test out a few options because I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what I want we're in the middle of the process Now we'll be trying a second option, an updo, instead of uh, loose weights. I have finally made the decision. This will be the wedding hair. Spoiler. So I'm back from my bridal hair test and this is the look although I'm now so confused because I posted on Instagram the beautiful smooth old Hollywood <laughs> waves and most of my friends were like oh my god it's amazing I hope this will be your hair for the wedding everyone seems to be so in love with that beautiful sleek look which I love as well but my wedding dress will be pretty dramatic in itself it's sort of romantic and yeah it's a lot of drama it's not a minimal dress in any shape or form um, so I thought that having that loose sleek wavy hair would just be too much you know i'll have a pretty long train and i'll have a veil so having loose hair i thought would be too much although i love it as well so i'm like in between um two things that i love and i have to choose one which is so difficult anyway i've decided for this look um it's been a couple hours now so i've been walking around in the wind so it got even messier and I like it this way I feel like this is very me and um, should I tell you about my dress I don't want to spoil too much but I think that an abdu would work better with that dress so this is me from the side um, and then this is the back of the bun uh, so we tried I think three different um, types of bun some more sleek um, a little more classic and this is like I don't know I think she called it a snake or an eight um, can you guys see I don't know I hope you can um, so yeah I like this one the most because it's like the messiest one and I said that I would like it to be even messier but I think you know throughout the day um, it will get messier so I love it this way I love sleek buns like this but I thought for the wedding because it will be in the summer and uh, you know I'll probably be sweaty there will be lots of sunshine I will probably look like an egghead I have to go deliver flowers to a girl her boyfriend ordered 
flowers from me for the third time and he's so he's like a loyal customer and he wants a subscription which by the way I do if you want um, contact Umi and I do floral subscription so anyway I'll wrap the flowers deliver them and then go straight to the gym because I finally started working out which took me ages so I went yesterday and I'm gonna go back today because uh, the place where I'll deliver flowers um, is pretty close to the gym so I thought why not you know I'll work out um, I just had a little walk with my baby Dorian um, so yeah let's go okay so here are the flowers he always wants something blue so I found blue nigella and um, a colored blue orchid so here's the bouquet matching my blue leggings these are from Swedish stockings I have them in black and they just sent me these in blue and they just are so comfortable and perfect so I work out in them these are my new mass socks <laughs> so yeah I'm super colorful today it finally got so warm so I'm now delivering the flowers on the way I'm actually <laughs> talking to our wedding coordinator um, yeah just like making sure we've got everything and um, everything will be in time so yeah just sort of last last bits and pieces that we have to go through because the wedding is pretty soon um, both Dorcas and I are not stressed at all which is super nice I guess we're not stressy people saying that I'll probably be stressed on the wedding day. Got some metal stools for the event. Now I'm here to a supplier I've never been to before, but I'm gonna get flowers for the event. God, I'm already dying over my floral order. Hi guys, I am so stressed today. You know me, I'm not a stressy person at all. I'm like super chill, no matter what. But tomorrow is my big event uh, with Lindex and it pretty much depends on me. I'm the decorator of the whole space of the brunch table. I'll be doing the workshop. I'll be doing, um, you know, these sort of stools with floral installations. Um, I'll have to talk quite a bit tomorrow and, you know, I'm responsible for a lot of things and I know it's gonna work out. I know it's gonna be perfect, but to make it perfect, I'm like starting to stress out and I have just noticed a cold sore on my lip which is a sign of being stressed like I'm I'm starting to feel it in my body and uh, um, so yeah today I'm running around I just got flowers uh, this is Raka's super tiny car that nothing fits in it and I'll have to fit everything from you know uh, pots, vases, ceramics, candles, uh, textile, plates, uh, flowers, <laughs> these massive metal stools. So it's just, it's just a lot. And I should probably rent a bigger car for that, but I will try to fit everything in here. And uh, so yeah, and then in like 40 minutes, we have a meeting at our wedding location with coordinator, our wedding host and decorator. So it's just like wedding is approaching and there's still a little bit to do, not too much actually, but just, you know, we have lots of meetings now and, um, you know, last minute details. So I'm really stressed today. <laughs> I think I'll need a break after this week. It's been quite intense. I got all of the plates and... Um, napkins for the event for tomorrow 
I'm Eve. When you don't have a flower studio and you do everything at home, Dorian is giving me company. I'm just conditioning the flowers for tomorrow's event. Here we've got all of them. Look at the gorgeous blue hydrangeas. We've got some peonies, uh, some amaranth cornflowers. So yeah, just prepping them, basically. Floral boxes everywhere. Okay, I've got everything ready for the event tomorrow. So all my vases, my tools, my candles, candle holders, flowers, uh, some more vases, some tissue paper, vases that will be gifted to the girls, my Lindex outfit for the event. So yeah, it's all ready to go. Gonna pack everything uh, into our car. Good morning, this is my way to the event. It's a little outside of Vilnius. I mean, it's not the center as you can see, but it's a very beautiful space, so I'll show you. Here we are. So this is my workspace. I'm setting the table for the brunch. Aftermath, packing everything, taking these flowers home, leftovers. The event was so nice. Everyone is packing up. The not so glamorous part of being a decorator is like taking a bunch of dirty plates to bring back to the supplier and like packing everything. Like, look inside my car, it's just I'm sweating profusely. Like, these metal stools are impossible to lift, so a guy helped me, dirty textile, and yeah, all of the flowers in the trunk. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here, and before I sign off, I want to say um, a massive thanks to Lindex for having me be a big such a big part of um, their event today i think i deserve a glass of wine i just had a shower and i'm like zen i just want to relax rock is back from work we just had some dinner i told him about the event uh, i've got flowers everywhere around me from the event um 
so yeah it was actually amazing I absolutely loved decorating the brunch table um, giving a little master class it was super short because we didn't have enough time but I think the girls enjoyed it and wait a sec I got to keep this uh, so Gabriela Gurchute, my favorite ceramicist made vases for the event for every girl and um, I was the one talking about flowers so I didn't get to make a bouquet or arrangement um, but someone did this so um, all the girls took their little arrangements home so someone made this I have no idea who which girl but it was a leftover so I took it home with me and I just love the combination the delphiniums are some of my absolute favorite flowers these ones I love scabiosas as well and these are in the most beautiful lilac shade so this is just so stunning and uh, this makes me think of the beach so super cute I knew all of the girls so you know uh, morning or afternoon spent in really good company with amazing food the same restaurant will be making our wedding food so I've tried their food before Rokas and I did um, it's really good food and it's very colorful and covered in flowers which is my dream so everything today was super bright and colorful and floral and just just so dreamy it was magical so Anyway, thank you to Lindex again. I'm gonna relax, as I said, I'll show you around and then I'm gonna sign off. Um, the day after tomorrow we're going to Rocco's cousin's wedding. I'll be doing her bridal bouquet. So looking forward to that as well. And not sure I'll vlog that because I think it will be an intimate celebration. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.